Hi, this is Justin Hansen with Infront Consulting Group. Today I'd like to demonstrate for you one of the automation services that we've developed that allows users to schedule SCOM maintenance modes for any given system or group of systems using both Service Manager and Orchestrator. Essentially how this process works is users will submit a service request using the self-service portal offered by Service Manager. They'll submit the request via that and that request will then be processed by Service Manager. Um, following that, uh, the orchestra an orchestrator runbook will be initiated which will actually schedule the maintenance mode and do all that work for us, all that automation work for us. We'll take a deeper dive into that. Why don't we just kick that off now by uh, submitting a request. So through the self-service portal, uh, I've already published the service offering to the portal. As you can see here, schedule SCOM maintenance window. So we'll go ahead and create one of those requests. Let's proceed to the form. So this form is just asking us for information that pertains to the maintenance window. So the start date and time and the end date and time, the system and the reason for the maintenance mode. So for, for the purpose of this demo, we'll schedule this maintenance mode promptly. It's asking us for UTC time in 24 hour format. So currently the time is 421 PM. I'm in the Eastern time zone. That would make it 2021. Actually the time just flipped 2022. So we'll go ahead and schedule it for 2035. And we'll we'll make it for an hour. So we'll we'll say 20 2135. So we'll scroll down. Now we need to select our systems. I'm going to select my Windows 8.1 machine. As I mentioned, we can add multiple machines, all of which will enter maintenance mode at the same given time. However, in this demo, I'm only going to select the one. I'll go ahead next. It's now asking us for the reason. I'll enter my reason. I will be installing Windows updates and the system will need to be rebooted. Click next, review the information, ensure that it's correct, everything looks fine. We'll go ahead and submit that. So we can see that the request has been submitted under SR2042. So if we flip over to our service manager console, we'll do a refresh. We can see here that we have a service request for schedule SCOM maintenance mode. Currently it's in progress. So let's take a deeper look into that and see exactly what's going on under the hood. So if we flip over to the activities tab and check out the workflow, we can see here that we have a review activity and a runbook activity. The review activity is simply an approval step which allows the approval of the, of the requested maintenance mode. The runbook activity is the activity which initiates the, the runbook to, to actually schedule the maintenance mode and kick it off. So if we do a refresh here, check the progress, we can see our review activity is completed automatically for us. The reason being is that for the purpose of the demo, I've specified that the approval condition be automatic so that it's automatically approved. However, of course, we can add reviewers here so that they're notified when their approval is required and they can then go in and do so. We'll do another refresh and our runbook activity is kicked off. So now if we flip over to our orchestrator, we can see here that this is the actual runbook so we can see it just kicked off here. And basically what's going, what this is doing is, is gathering the information that was entered by, into the service request, formatting it accordingly, and creating a calendar item, a, an appointment in an exchange calendar, which is going to actually schedule that maintenance mode for us. So we can see here that it's completed. So if we flip over to the calendar, we can see that our maintenance mode is scheduled. Of course, Outlook is reminding us of it. 
as it is approaching. If we open that up, we can see all the information that was entered into that form right from the appointment, for, right from the calendar item itself. This calendar, of course, can be changed. Uh, the calendar in which all this is scheduled in uh, will depend on the settings that are configured for the Exchange uh, Integration Pack. The calendar is uh, specified there. So now that the item's been added to our calendar, uh, our service request should be should be completed because it, after all, it has scheduled it for us. So service manager is just catching up here, so we'll we'll let it do its thing. Um, essentially, what will happen after that is uh, we have an, another set of runbooks, which um, one of which uh, the monitor calendar runbook is actually continuously monitoring that specific calendar for any new appointments or any new maintenance modes that are coming up. So the way that works is this runbook runs every five minutes and it checks that calendar for any appointments that are coming up within the next five minutes. So for every five minutes that goes by, we're checking for the next five minutes in the future. If there's any appointments that fall within that five minute range, we'll then go into SCOM and apply the maintenance mode. That five minute interval can be adjusted uh, based on the environment or the business needs. For the purpose of the demo, we left it at five minutes. So if we flip back over to Service Manager to check the status of our ticket, we can see here that it's still in progress and that's fine. So what we'll do now is we're just gonna wait and uh, now that we have the item scheduled uh, it's for, scheduled for 4.35 right now, it's 4.27, so it won't quite be going into maintenance mode just yet. Looking at SCOM, it hasn't yet done it. So we're going to pause here for a moment. We'll come back when that's, when that's been completed. Hi, welcome back. So we've had our runbook initiate. It's now 4.31, so we're four minutes ahead of schedule. And uh, we can see that our system is in maintenance mode. Now if we take a closer look at that maintenance mode, we, we should be able to see our reasoning here. So I'll be installing Windows updates. Yep, our reasoning and our, any comments that were added are included in the comments section of the maintenance mode settings within SCOM. See here the number of minutes, 64 minutes. Uh, again, this, this, uh, this maintenance mode was scheduled for 60 minutes, not 64. However, because we're now four minutes ahead of the schedule, it's actually adding on the extra 64 minutes. The reason why we're four minutes ahead of schedule, again, is because of the monitor calendar runbook running every five minutes. The reason why it's running every five minutes for demo and performance reasons. That, again, can be adjusted. So everything looks just great in terms of the maintenance mode. So we're all set there. Uh, the run books have kicked off successfully. Everything looks good. So the only thing left to look at is our service request. So if we flip over to service manager here and we'll do a refresh, we can see that we have no open service requests. That's great. So it should have fallen under the completed service requests. Do a quick search, and there is our request. SR2042 has been completed successfully. And that's how we're able to allow users to be able to schedule their own SCOM maintenance modes with an approval stage, allowing us to better plan our outages and better plan our maintenance. And this has been Justin Hansen with Infront Consulting Group. I hope you've enjoyed this demo.